Beautiful pictures here across the state line as we have sunshine as far as the eye could see. A few light little puffy clouds here and there, but overall nothing is showing on our Rock River Kia Max Storm Tracker, except a few river flood warnings, especially along the Mississippi, as we have received quite a bit of rain here over the past couple of days. When it comes to winds, we're seeing them out of the east, anywhere between 5 to 10 miles per hour. Overall, a very nice and steady breeze, and man, is it great outside. 73 degrees currently here in Rockford. 72 Two up in Janesville. Dew points are in the mid 50s, so really no complaints here whatsoever. If we go through the next couple of hours, do think a few more clouds will start to build in, becoming mostly cloudy by the time we get towards the overnight and evening hours. But temperatures today will top out in the upper 70s, could flirt with 80, but overall a gorgeous looking day here ahead. So we head overnight tonight. Clouds are going to be holding quite steady, getting down to the lower 60s. So a night where it's not a bad idea to have your windows open, but you want to make sure you're up early enough to close them as we are expecting some rain showers earlier on in the morning. This is just the first round of rain I think we'll start to see. With these, this is more and more on the shower side. Not much in the terms of thunderstorm department, but as we head toward the afternoon, this is when I think our shower and thunderstorm chances really start to pick up. And by the time we get towards 7, 8 o'clock, I think this is when it'll be on the heavier side when it comes to our thunderstorms. We are, though, in a marginal 1 out of 5 risk for strong to possibly severe thunderstorms for tomorrow, with the primary risk really being some gustier ones and maybe some larger pieces of hail. But I think winds will top out near 65 miles per hour and could see up to quarter size hail, mainly off toward the west. But tornadoes, I think, will near zero for our chances. So we head overnight into Saturday morning. A few scattered showers here and there are expected. And then as we get into Saturday morning, could have a stray thunderstorm or two. But by the time we get toward the afternoon, looking at a gorgeous day. Another one that's going to be on the hot and humid side as dew points rise back into the 70s with highs in the upper 80s. Could see heat index values near the mid and even some upper 90. So another day that is going to be on the warmer side, but we do have a cold run coming through Saturday. That's not going to provide us much when it comes to relief Saturday, but for Sunday, well, that is a different story as we'll get down to or up to only 75 degrees for us here on Sunday. So if you're not a fan of the heat and humidity, well, you won't have to wait a while like what we've had this past week. Instead, it's pretty much have to wait a day to get into Monday, a high of 79 degrees. Good amount of sunshine. Tuesday, we are keeping track of another system that we'll keep an eye on when it comes to showers and thunderstorms. Those could be on the strong to severe side, but again, way too far off for any specific details. Wednesday, back up to that 90 degree mark with partly cloudy skies. So if there's a moral of the story, get outside and enjoy the sunshine and beautiful weather here today.